Hi class, we've got our template saved and now we're going to use it to create um, a new worksheet. There's lots of different ways we can do that. We can find our template in File Explorer and double click on it to open it in Excel. We can open Excel. And then under New, We can click personal and here's our template all fancy huh i'll do it that way now once we open it notice it's going to use our template name and add the number one to it so that we know it's not the template make it a little bit easier for us let's go ahead and file save and i'm going to browse again in my location to find the folder that i want to save in And I'm going to go ahead and save it as an Excel workbook. So it will be based on our template, but now our template will stay exactly the same and changes that we make will only apply to this version to our workbook. Let's see where I put our textbook. There it is. Okay. So we've got it saved. And now we're going to import some data. We have four different locations here for our company and each location is using a different format to save their sales data. So we're going to be using each of those different formats to get some data. XML extensible markup language. That's one format that we might see. We might see text files, all sorts of different things. So of course you want to plan and make sure you know what kind of data you're going to be importing. Try it in some test spreadsheets so that you know what you've got so that you can be ready to um, merge all your data together. Okay. So the first one we're going to use is a text file. And a text file is just like a file that was created in Notepad. doesn't have any special formatting or anything like that. And sometimes people use a text file just as a real easy way to save information. So I'm going to move this off my screen and we'll go about grabbing this text file. I need to click in cell A4 to start and I want to click on data and then I'm going to choose get data from text and depending on what version you're using you might see a little bit different of options but you can always do get data from file from text I also have an icon here for it either one would be fine Now I've got to find those data files, and this is the one I want. Here we've got this stores sales data. So I'm going to click on that and click import. Now this screen is substantially different than the one that's shown to you in the book. There was a really recent update to Excel, like last night. That seems to have really changed this a lot. So let's see what we can do here. Our delimiter trying to see what I need to be concerned about. Looking at my text here, um, I could change how it's delimited. It's a comma is fine. That's what they wanted us to use. 
And that means that there's a comma in between each of these items in the text file. Now I want to click on Transform Data. And when I do that, this new um, Power Query Editor is going to display. And for column one, we really want this to just be general, not seeing anything. So I'm going to continue on. And then they're ready to finish, but ours is a little different. I didn't make any changes here in this Power Query Editor, so I'm just going to close it, discard changes. And I'm going to go back to my data and from text and choose my file. When the data wizard starts on my load button, I'm going to choose load to because I want to load this to the current worksheet. Okay, in the example, they're using this properties option and we're not being given that option. So let's see if we try some of these other options here. Nope. And it's like nothing that I do is going to give me those options. So I'm going to click OK. And it's giving us the right data, but it's not giving us the right data at the right location because of this update. So let's pause. And I'll be back.